guys, Hillary here from Old World Home. So as most of you know, I am a home improvement enthusiast. My husband and I love to fix up older homes and make them ours and learn new skills along the way and not pay someone else a lot of money to do something that we could do ourselves. So today I'm actually teaming up with Jen from How Jen Does It to share with you guys some really easy, inexpensive home improvement updates that you can do yourself. Yes, you. Jen and I have both renovated homes within the past few years, so definitely when you're done checking out this video, hop over to her channel and see what great home improvement ideas she has to share. My first tip is to add trim to basic slab doors. When we moved into this home, pretty much all of the doors were just the solid panel slab doors, and we added decorative trim to our girls' room and to our master bedroom, and we love how it elevated the space. After adding trim and painting the doors, they really do look like brand new, and they cost way less than having to just replace the door altogether. And speaking of doors, painting your front door is an incredibly easy and impactful DIY that anyone can do. When we moved in, ours was a faded green, so I wiped it down really well and used the $3 paint sample in an eggshell finish to give it new life. In my opinion, you cannot go wrong with a classic black door, especially when accented with brass hardware. Adding a door knocker to yours would also be another easy and inexpensive DIY. A simple upgrade we made in the kitchen was to add an outlet to our pantry. We have a very small pantry, but we still managed to maximize the space by adding an outlet and being able to move our microwave into the pantry. This is something you could do yourself, but if you don't feel comfortable doing electric work, you could definitely hire an electrician and it would not cost a lot of money at all. My next tip is to paint a metal railing or small fence area. We had a white wrought iron railing when we first moved in and I just used a tiny little can of Rust-Oleum metal paint in a black finish and painted the railing. It looked brand new. We actually did this at our old house and painted a rusty railing right before we put it on the market and so many people commented that it looked like we had replaced it all together. I've also used spray paint to paint a metal fence that was in our old house. It was like green and rusted metal and I painted the whole thing in a nice glossy black and again it looked like a brand new fence that I had spent probably six dollars on. Another electrical project that you could definitely do yourself. My husband has done it in our own home but you could hire it out if you feel uncomfortable with electric work is to install a dimmer switch in one of the rooms in your home or multiple rooms. Dimmers are fantastic in nurseries because you don't want the light to be blinding when you need to go in there in the middle of the night. We did that in our old house and we plan to do it here as well. They're also great in a dining room or in your master bedroom where you don't necessarily want all or nothing. You want to be able to adjust it. Dimmer switches are really inexpensive too and again if you do it yourself it's going to cost you around $20. My next tip is definitely one of the most impactful ways to upgrade your home on your own, and that is to paint cabinetry. We painted all of our kitchen cabinets. It cost me about $75 for the chalk paint and the top coat. This was a really big job, but it is totally doable. Anybody can paint with chalk paint, and it makes such a amazing difference, especially going from really dated wood to bright white. Even if it's not your kitchen cabinets, it could be a bathroom cabinet, Cabinet. It could be a decorative piece of furniture in your living room. We've done that as well. I painted the console in our living room a deep charcoal color. And seriously, it makes such a difference and it's such a doable DIY. For some reason, curtain rods are so crazy expensive. So we have actually used electrical conduit pipes to hang curtains in our master bedroom and in our living room. All you need to do is buy the hanging hardware and any sort of finishing finials that you might want to use on the ends, but the conduit comes in just a nickel finish. You could spray paint it black or brass like we did, but such a cheaper alternative to typical curtain rods, which again, I don't understand why they're so expensive. Another super easy upgrade that we made when we moved into this house was to spray paint all of our air conditioning vent covers. We took them all down and I cleaned them really well to remove any dust and then spray painted with high gloss white spray paint and put them back up 
After the ceilings were painted white, they looked brand new and it saved us so much more money than just replacing them. Another upgrade that we recently did was to change our mailbox. When we moved in, the one that was here was so sad, it was falling over. We seriously thought we were just gonna lose it all together one day in like a windstorm. So we did actually for Christmas invest in a new mailbox post and a new mailbox itself. It was around $100 for the post and a little bit more for the box, but the prices really run the gamut. You could spend as little as you want to some really fancy nice ones, but it really makes such a difference, especially since it's the exterior of your home. It's that first impression people see. But if you do have an existing mailbox that functions fine, maybe the color's fading or the paint is chipping, if you just give it a fresh coat of paint, that makes such a difference. We did this in our old house. We had a brass mailbox and I spray painted it red and it looked so cute with our black and white house. That was our old house. Um, and that was a really easy upgrade as well. And lastly, I cannot finish this video without sharing the tip to add board and batten to your home. We absolutely love this decorative detail in our home. The walls here were super plain, just no character whatsoever. You do need to know how to work a miter saw or a chop saw and do all that kind of angle cutting, but really if you just watch some tutorials or look it up on a blog, it's really easy to do. If I can do it, you guys really can do it or if you know somebody that's handy that could help you with it that would also be awesome we get asked all the time if it's original to the home and for me that is such a compliment so I hope you guys enjoyed these tips I hope it encourages you to try your hand at some DIYs and make these little upgrades that really add up to creating a home that you truly love again be sure to go and check out Jen and if you are new here coming over from Jen's channel welcome my name is Hillary you could subscribe I share all about home renovating and decorating organizing and living a beautiful life thanks so much for watching guys I'll be talking to you soon bye